In this video, I'm showing you some features in iOS 17 that are not so well known, but will still make a big difference in the way you use your iPhone every single day. Let's go ahead and jump in right now. First up is interactive widgets. In iOS 17, widgets no longer simply link you to the corresponding application. You can now interact with widgets right on your home screen and actually get actions done without even opening up the application. Every single widget can be interactive, including third-party widgets. However, you may have to wait a little bit for application developers to update their applications to support this. Some of my favorites that are built in right now to iOS 17 are reminders and music. I like being able to check off my reminders right from the home screen. Previously in iOS 16, I had to tap on the widget and then check off my reminders right from the application. I also like doing this with music. When I have the music widget on my home screen, I can simply tap the widget one time and it starts playing one of my playlists right away. Next up at number two is for the AirPods Pro second generation. Along with iOS 17, the AirPods Pro also got a pretty substantial software update. There are two new features for the AirPods Pro second generation. The first one is adaptive audio, and the second one is conversation awareness. Adaptive audio is pretty cool because it transitions between audio modes for you. This allows noise cancellation and transparency mode to smoothly transition throughout the day based on your environment. So for example, if the AirPods detect a pretty loud ambient noise, it's going to automatically put them into noise cancellation. And the second feature, and probably my favorite, is conversation awareness. This is going to automatically lower the volume of whatever is playing through your AirPods when the AirPods detect that you start talking. So one example I can think is when I'm in an airplane and the stewardess comes up to you asking if you want a drink or something, as soon as you start talking to someone, the AirPods are automatically going to go into transparency mode and also lower the volume of whatever's playing. Next up at number three, this one is a very tiny change, but it's one of those changes that is very much appreciated as you use your iPhone every single day. When you are in a phone call, the UI has been changed to make the buttons a lot lower on the screen. This makes it so much easier to press the buttons when you're on a phone call, especially on a large iPhone. The next feature is going to be very useful for those of you who share various internet accounts and login information. iOS 17 now allows you the option to share your passwords and sign in information with members of your family. So if you share your passwords in iCloud Keychain, these can now be shared with people using family sharing in iOS 17. Open up settings and then scroll down and click on passwords. From here, you're gonna notice a new option at the top that says family passwords. If you enable this, you can choose which accounts to share with your family. This is going to be very, very useful for people that share accounts, such as a joint bank account or a Netflix account. Next up is another feature that has to do with sharing. Similar to sharing your passwords, another useful feature in iOS 17 is the ability to now share an AirTag with up to five people. Inside the Find My application, if you click on your items, you can choose an item and you'll now see a new button that says share this AirTag. If you click on add person, you can add up to five different people to see the location of this AirTag. This is going to be very handy if multiple people in your household are using the same item, such as a suitcase or a bike, for example. Next up at number six is offline maps. Apple Maps can finally be downloaded and stored on your iPhone offline. This is pretty useful if you go out of service, you can still have a map of your area and simply rely on just GPS instead of GPS plus data to load your map. This is honestly a nice feature, but it's a little bit late. And if you needed it very badly, you were probably just using Google Maps already. So Apple was a little bit late with this feature. To download your maps inside of Apple Maps, click on your profile picture on the right hand side and then choose offline maps. From here, you can download as many areas of the map as you want. And it's also gonna show how much storage it's taking up on your iPhone. You can choose to update any of your downloaded maps. And you also have a few different options inside of here. You can choose to download maps simply on Wi-Fi or also Wi-Fi plus cellular. You can choose to have your maps automatically update if any changes are made to the map. And you can also choose to only use Apple Maps offline if you have a limited data plan. And finally, at number seven, we have faster haptic touch. For those of you who don't know, haptic touch is a gesture on the iPhone where you press and hold on something to get into a deeper menu. And in iOS 17, you can set up haptic touch to initiate a lot faster. 
So this is an underrated feature, but it's definitely nice to have haptic touch activate a lot faster. This is going to better mimic the legacy technology called 3D touch, which was introduced on the iPhone 6S and discontinued a few short years later. If you ask any Apple enthusiast, they're going to tell you that one of their favorite old features of iPhones was 3D touch, which actually detected the pressure of your finger on the display. So choosing faster haptic touch is going to better mimic the technology that we had on the older iPhones, which detected your pressure. To turn this on, go into settings, click on accessibility, then choose touch. From there, choose haptic touch and choose the fastest option. So I want you to go on your iPhone and choose this right now and let us know in the comments how much faster it feels when you press and hold on various things on your iPhone. So those are just some of the lesser known underrated features in iOS 17. iOS 17 itself is packed with a bunch of major new changes. And if you wanna see our video on all the big changes, we'll have that linked in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up as it does help us quite a bit. And also let us know in the comments what your favorite feature was we shared in this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you next time.